Hey everybody, it's Garen Cohn from American Warrior Radio. Again, we're in Orlando for a special event at the Harley. Concerned Veterans for America put on an awesome show tonight with some really cool music. And we have with us right now a couple of the leaders from Madison Rising. Dave and Sam, thank you so much, brother man. The pleasure's all mine, my friend. Really yeah. appreciate it, Sam, Thanks. very much. Yeah. Tell us what brought you out tonight here to Concerned Vets for America concert. Well, we've been touring with the CBA for about, uh, we did a few shows last year, but for the last, I'd say, five months, we've been touring solid with them and, and helping push their message. Obviously, myself being a veteran, uh, it's a cause that I stand firmly behind. And, uh, you know, I think that I speak for everybody in the band when I say it's one of those shows that no matter where we put it on, no matter what county or state or, you know, wherever we are city-wise, it's always a great show. The energy is always amazing, and we just always enjoy it. And you being a veteran, what branch were you in? I was Navy, but I served as an FMF corner with the Marines. Outstanding. Appreciate your service. It. And it does. It's got to hit home to come out here and see your brothers and sisters in arms support this grassroots movement to try and take our country back and really instill some of the freedoms that we have maybe lost over the time here. And your message, I don't know, folks, if you haven't been follows, following Madison Rising, you're missing something. How many millions of views now on YouTube with the like Star Spring five, five and a half about right now. And climbing. Going and up. climbing. Yeah. Okay, and you said you're on tour with them. What are some of the other cities you've been to so far? Yeah, you start. We'll go back oh, and forth. Dude, and I, <laughs> you, you start. Give me one. Uh, we've, we've, we've done. Tampa yesterday. Well, we did yeah, Fayetteville, go. Wilmington. Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie, Pennsylvania. What we do? Texas. Uh, I mean, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Los Angeles like five times. <laughs> We're back and forth. So, I mean, honestly, all over the country, you know, if I could ask your listenership and your viewership to check out the Concerned Veterans for America and find out mm -hmm. who the speakers are on the tour because we honestly, we have some amazing Americans, true patriots of our day. You know, we think of our founding fathers and some of the most critical people in history. These are the people that are on this tour. These are the gold star mothers that have lost Navy SEAL sons. Uh, these are the captains of the outlaw platoon that went over and just set a precedent of how we fight and how we take on our enemies in foreign soil. Uh, we have Dakota Meyer, C Congressional Medal of Honor winner. Um, the list literally goes on and on, and, and I think that you know tonight's show was very special just because it was. And it had all the kids up on stage, the kids, man. The was, kids we had are, about like eight kids up on yeah. stage with us. It's, the kids are the kids are an important part of this message as well because it's one that needs to be passed down. But I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Well, and I wanted to bring that up because I'm sure as you've done the tour and other tours, you're seeing the message start to get out. You're seeing it grow, right? Am I right? Absolutely. We are seeing it grow, but the point of this and the idea behind this is that we are a country in shambles and we are separated and divided in every way possible down to what color clothes you wear. Um, it's ridiculous. I think what we're doing with the CVA is setting a precedent of how to start the rebuilding process. So we start with veterans, we start with people who all have the same common and all have been given the common training and we show them that they can come back together no matter what's behind their name, whether they're Democrat, Republican, this is not a battle between politics. This is a battle between good and evil, and it's for our country. And if we can set a precedent with the CBA and show Americans how to put their arms back around each other and recapsulate the foundation and what this country was started on, and we set that precedent and it becomes a public thing, they will learn and they will fall exactly where they need to fall, and that is in line, hopefully, together. And this country can once again be one nation under God as a country and as a people. Now folks, we're talking to Dave and Sam from Madison Rising. The message is out there, and isn't it interesting how music can also help empower people? Bring them out, listening to music. The CD right here, you gotta get it. You can listen to YouTube, that's great, but you guys gotta live, you gotta eat, you gotta feed your families. How can they find out more about you and buy your album? Uh, well, we've got Twitter, at Madison Rising. We've got Facebook, Madison Rising. Uh, YouTube, Star Spangled Banner. Uh, all Basically all social media sites, I would say. Don't forget about the big one. Uh, MadisonRising.com. Oh, yeah. Can't Jeez. forget that one. <laughs> that, was a, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no, but the, if you want to support your troops, we have a Rock Your Red t-shirt for yeah. Red Shirt Fridays. It's been a huge seller for us. People love that shirt. Um, you know, you want to help out Madison Rising, just buy a CD. You know, download the record. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Word of mouth is still the best way to get the word out. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank yeah, you man. for an awesome performance tonight. My brother. Thank you for your service. Really appreciate it. Same. Sam, Sam, back at you, okay? Right you guys on. are awesome. Yeah. Garen Cohn, peace out.